Alicia Vikander is a Swedish actress, dancer and producer. She was born and raised in Gothenburg, Vastra Gotelands Lan, Sweden, to Maria Fall, an actress of stage and screen, and Svante Vikander, a psychiatrist. Through her mother, she is one-quarter Finnish, and had a maternal great-aunt who moved from Finland to Sweden to escape World War II. Alicia began acting as a child in minor stage productions at the Gotbog Opera, and trained as a ballet dancer at the Royal Swedish Ballet School in Stockholm, and the School of American Ballet in New York. She began her professional acting career by appearing in Swedish short films and television series, and first gained recognition in Northern Europe for her role as Josephine Bjorn Tegebrandt in the TV drama Second Avenue, 2007. Vikander made her feature film debut in Pure, 2009, for which she won the Goldbag Award for Best Actress. She attracted widespread recognition in 2012 for portraying Princess Ekaterina, Kitty, Alexandrovna Sherbatskaya in Joe Wright's film adaptation of Anna Karenina, 2012, and Queen Caroline Matilda in the acclaimed Danish film A Royal Affair, 2012, receiving a BAFTA Rising Star Award nomination for her breakthrough. She went on to star in the 2013 Swedish drama film Hotel, 2013, and appeared in the Julian Assange biopic The Fifth Estate, 2013, that same year. In 2014 and 2015, Vikander achieved global recognition and acclaim for her roles as activist Vera Britton in Testament of Youth, 2014, and AI in Ex Machina, 2014, for which she was nominated for the Golden Globe and BAFTA Award for Best Supporting Actress, and painter Gerda Wegener in The Danish Girl, 2015, for which she received the Academy Award and the Screen Actors Guild Award for Best Supporting Actress. In 2011 she was named as one of European film's shooting stars by European Film Promotion, one of six children, got the part of Kitty in Anna Karenina, 2012, after Saoirse Ronan turned it down, while she got the part of Alice in Seventh Son, 2014, after Jennifer Lawrence backed out of the production, portrayed a humanoid robot in Ex Machina, 2014, and a half-human, half-witch in Seventh Son, 2014, a trained ballet dancer. She studied ballet at the Royal Swedish Ballet School, but decided to pursue acting instead of ballet, following a few injuries and subsequent foot and back surgeries. One of her favorite experiences from the production of Anna Karenina, 2012, was the filming that took place in the countryside outside of St. Petersburg, Russia. The temperatures dipped to minus 40 degrees Celsius, and for five days she stayed in a cabin that didn't have hot water and only had benches instead of beds. Russian security guards protected her and co-star Donald Gleason from wolves and bears that dominated the deserted area. The directors she dreams to work with are Lars von Trier, Terence Malick and Quentin Tarantino, daughter of Maria Fall and Svante Vikander, a psychiatrist, was chosen for her part in A Royal Affair, 2012, following a long casting process in which the casting directors were unable to find a fitting actress for the role of Queen Caroline Matilda. In fact, the search produced such few results that the production almost was stalled. However, when they discovered Vikander didn't speak the language, Danish, that she was required to, she was still considered to be perfect for the part. The crew made her take intense language lessons over a period of two months. She succeeded in mastering the language and the production was back on track. Before she mastered the Danish language she had to use in a royal affair, 2012, she was able to practice all of her lines, since they had been recorded on her iPhone by one of her mother's friends, raised in Gotbog, Sweden, one of two dancers, actresses to play artificial life forms. Summer Glau was a prima ballerina who played a cyborg in Terminator. The Sarah Connor Chronicles, 2008. Alicia was also a ballerina who played an android in Ex Machina, 2014, dropped out of both Assassin's Creed, 2016 and The Circle, 2017, to do Jason Bourne, 2016, instead. She was replaced by Ariane Labd in Assassin's Creed, and by Emma Watson in The Circle, has appeared in two period pieces set in Denmark, the neighbor country of her native Sweden, A Royal Affair, 2012, and The Danish Girl, 2015, auditioned for the part of Snow White in Snow White and the Huntsman, 2012, she worked on her English and made tapes of herself playing different characters, hoping to land a part in an American movie. The tapes were sent to casting directors in the UK.
After meeting with the casting directors, she was en route to the airport when she received the call she had been waiting for. Executives at Universal wanted to send her to Los Angeles to screen test for the part of Snow White. I was on the phone crying at a Starbucks, Vikander recalled. People thought I was having a breakup with my boyfriend. I said, no, it's good news. I'm going to have a career. She didn't get the part, however, it went to Kristen Stewart. Her favorite actresses are Marion Cotillard, Isabel Huppert and Jennifer Lawrence. Auditioned for the role of Cinderella in Cinderella, 2015, Lily James was cast instead. Signed as the new face of Louis Vuitton in February 2015, appeared in the Swedish musical Christina from Duvamala, written by former ABBA members Benny Andersson and Björn Ulvaeus, for three years during the show's original run, is one of six Swedish actors to be nominated for an Academy Award. The others are Greta Garbo, Ingrid Bergman, Anne Margaret, Lena Olin and Max von Sydow, shared the cover of Vanity Fair magazine's 2016 Hollywood issue with Jane Fonda, Viola Davis, Kate Blanchett, Jennifer Lawrence, Rachel Weiss, Lupita Nyong'o, Brie Larson, Charlotte Rampling, Gugu Mbatha-Ra, Helen Mirren, Diane Keaton and Saoirse Ronan. Photographed by Annie Leibovitz, was the 145th actress to receive an Academy Award. She won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for The Danish Girl, 2015. At the Oscars, 2016, her maternal grandmother, Solveig Waldemar's daughter, was Finnish, and came to Sweden in the early 1940s. Alicia's other grandparents were Swedish, revealed to The New York Times, on February 9, 2016, that the filmmakers of The Danish Girl, 2015, were obsessed with the fact that she didn't look Scandinavian and paled her skin to make her lighter. People say that I'm tanned, but that's my natural color, she related. The real Gerda Wegener was a natural blonde and blue-eyed Danish woman with pale skin, while Vikander is a natural brunette with brown eyes and olive skin. Besides having her skin lightened, she also had to wear blonde wigs that didn't suit her skin tone in the film. Her Oscar nomination for Best Actress in a Supporting Role, instead of Best Actress in a Leading Role for the Danish Girl, 2015, was seen by many as a critical category fraud, as her character, Gerda, has more screen time and more dialogue than Eddie Redmayne's character, Ina, Lily. Vikander has 73 minutes of screen time, 61.7% of the movie's length. Distributor Focus Features decided to campaign for Vikander as supporting actress because they thought it would increase her chances of winning. Is the first Swede to win an Academy Award since Ingrid Bergman for Murder on the Orient Express, 1974. In an interview with the Daily Telegraph, in August 2015 she confirmed that she and Michael Fassbender are a couple. They met while filming The Light Between Oceans, 2016. In 2014, director Tom Hooper delayed production of The Danish Girl, 2015, until after Alicia finished filming The Light Between Oceans, 2016, to secure her for the role of Gerda. In 2011 she made her home in London. After renting in Notting Hill, Shoreditch and Hackney she bought an apartment in northwest London in 2013 and loves the old culture of Great Britain. The opera, High Tea, Getting in a Black Cab, was named, The Thinking Man's Blake Lively, by, The New York Times, in 2015. Filming The Light Between Oceans, 2016. She met her current husband, Michael Fassbender, who plays her husband in the movie, the second Academy Award winner to portray Lara Croft in Tomb Raider, 2018. The first was Angelina Jolie in Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, 2001, and Lara Croft Tomb Raider. The Cradle of Life, 2003, beat out her Tulip Fever, 2017. Co-star Cara Delevingne for the role of Lara in Tomb Raider, 2018, during the showreel of the Weinstein Company's upcoming slate of films at the 2015 Cannes Film Festival. Producer Harvey Weinstein told journalists that he was so enamored of Vikander that he asked her to play a part in Burnt, 2015. Her part didn't exist in the original script. Weinstein also stated that Vikander will have a brilliant future in Hollywood's biggest league, and that she and her boyfriend Michael Fassbender are the new talented couple. Vikander had previously starred in another Weinstein Company film, Tulip Fever, 2017. She stated in an interview on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, 2014, that she did most of her own stunts, and had to repeat some of them, in Tomb Raider, 2018, 
included in Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 Women of 2017 list, ranked number 40 in FHM Magazine's 100 Sexiest Women in the World 2017. She auditioned for the role of Selena Kyle, Catwoman in The Batman, 2021, included in Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 Women of 2018 list, an accomplished Swedish folk dancer. She was the first guest in the history of The Tonight Show to do the Swedish Midsummer Eve frog dance on stage with host Jimmy Fallon in January 2016. Alicia actually learned Japanese for her role in Earthquake Bird.